So, I'm Blaze Holly. I'm a shipwright here at Haven Boatworks. I've been working at Haven coming up on five years now. I've been working as a shipwright for 12 years. I got my start back at Mystic Seaport, uh, working on Amistad, and I got my start doing that, uh, cutting an English literature class with an English professor, and I uh, wandered down to the shipyard and thought that looked like good fun and so I talked to the lead shipwright who was a fellow Roger Hambridge and he was kind enough to hire me on. And I heard about the boat school in Port Townsend. I came down to Port Townsend, went to the boat school. Um, got out of that, built a sailboat for myself. Uh, what kind of sailboat did you have? It was a 28 foot Sharpie. Uh, it was designed by Ralph Monroe and Egret. Um, and I finished that, sailed it from Canada down here, was looking for work, and Ernie Baird, who owned this shop, it, it's what became Haven Boatworks, um, saw me walking down the dock with my sail bags on my shoulder, going out for my first sail, and uh, I'd been, you know, poking in the office asking for work for, got a couple weeks at that point, and I guess he, he likes seeing uh, the sail bags or something, but he said like, started eight the next day. And, on Adventurous right now, we're kind of in the midst of a multi-year, you know, rebuilding, structural rebuilding of the boat. It's basically been the hull at this point, um, although right now we've got preparations for a new mainmast uh, going on as well, uh, top of the existing one rotted out, and so it's time for a new mainmast, so that's getting shaped up. But in the meantime, we've got... Um, Really, the port side stripped off the boat. Um, four winters ago, I believe, was the first time I worked on Adventurous. Haven's worked on it a couple years beyond that. Um, but so we did, a, you know, kind of wooden boats. You start at the center line. It's like the foundation of a house, the center line of a wooden boat, analogous to that. So we did a new stem and four foot forward. And um, Four years ago. Four years ago. Mm -hmm. And then a couple years ago, we got a new... The horn timber and transom on, and uh, each of those years we managed to get a few frames tucked into the boat, but sort of knew all along that that really the framing was at the end of its workable lifespan. Um, and so this year we've uh, gotten to take the port side of the boat off, so it can address the port side frame. And so there. Almost every single frame in the port side of the boat will be new in about three weeks. And we'll be beginning planking um, in a couple of weeks here, kind of covering it up. And so the uh, end of February should see the last of the corking crew stepping off the boat. Mm. And, and uh, the port side will be a little bit better than it was 100 years ago. Uh, you have a lot of volunteers working with you, right? Um, there are a lot of volunteers working with Sound Experience right now. The only volunteer I've got working kind of alongside of us day in and day out is um, a woman named Esther. Mm. And uh, she's been brilliant, and it's really the best part of, 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 of my job most days um, are folks like her who are both excited about the work that they're doing, but they're also just excited to learn. And so, um, you know, answering intelligent questions and seeing somebody kind of get it and then immediately go out and, and really put that knowledge to, to quite useful purpose. Um, is really, really enjoyable. Yeah, Esther's pretty amazing.
How long do you expect it to last, all this work you're doing? Well, sound experience uh, is, I think they've written their business plan around a 50-year life expectancy. Mm -hmm. And uh, in as much as, you know, what I'm taking off just survived 100 years of destruction testing.